Okay. So, well, let me <laughs> recall this again. Uh, at least leave a voice record there. So, the media recipe for the FOA essay is minus tryptophan minus histidine uh, minus leucine plus FOA. Uh, it's minus tryptophan because uh, uh, on the report that passed me, the PSS44, it contains the TRP1, which is the gene to use to synthesize tryptophan. So I, we leave the tryptophan out, and then the cell has to keep the report of passing, otherwise cell will not survive. Uh, it's minus histidine uh, because we, uh, we have the his 3 marker on the PMS2 plasma. And the cell uh, cannot synthesize histidine on their own, so they have to keep the PMS2 plasma in order to survive. And it's also minus losing because uh, with the promoter, PLE2 promoter, is in front of the Euro 3 reporter marker. We want to turn on the Euro 3. As a the Euro 3 is, is like the light, the signal to, to, to uh, indicate how well MSH2 protein is going to repair this uh, mismatch repair due to the microsatellite in front of it. Uh, the FOA, <coughs> FOA is, is used as actual uh, uh, final selection. FOA if the Euro 3 is wild type, it's going to kill the cell. If the Euro 3 is a mutant, and then FOA will not be converted in a, into a toxical compound and kill the cell. So when the Euro 3 becomes a mutant, and the FOA cannot kill the cell, the cell will still uh, be uh, alive. So now on the report of plasma, the Euro 3 is a wild type is functional. But in front of it, there is a microsatellite. So microsatellite has a very high frequency to lead to a friendship mutation. But when the MSH2 is functional, when the MSH2 is functional, it's going to repair this. So, so for the wild type MSH2, the Euro 3 is always most likely functional, and means, which means cell will not survive on the FOA plate. So for the wild type, you see very few colonies. For the mutant, uh, when the MSH2 has, uh, has some mutation, for example, in one, every one of uh, each group has their own uh, mutation to study, if the mismatch repair function is, uh, has, uh, is less efficient, then the, there will be high chance the Euro 3 will have, uh, have, have a, a, a become mutant. And then FOA will stop the, the the conversion of FOA to a toxic compound will be blocked, and cell will live. So, so for the mutant, we will see some live cell here. But how do we? How can we tell the uh, the, the severity of the mutation? The amount of cells. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, We we have the vector control. The vector is have a complete deletion of the MSH2. That one. So so that's the. Maximum amount. How, how much damage can you do? That's a maximum amount. Right, so we, we have that as a as a scale. So, so that when that when this is completely deleted, U3 have the maximum chance to become a mutant. And uh, so there's a, a maximum amount of life cell on this one. And then we can compare. So what's the key for this experiment to work? The amount of a cell. We put on the plate should be the same. You see the one? If we put more cells here, or more cells here, less cells here, then it doesn't make sense anymore. The, the amount of cell we put on the plate should be the same. And so then we can have a comparison. I also uh, have not discussed the host cell. If we want to do this selection, that means the uh, in the genome, nuclear genome, the host cell should be minus, should be his minus uh, tryptophan minus, and also U3 minus. 
the host cell, its nuclear genome cannot have histidine, tryptophan, or ura 3 Otherwise, it also will not work. Because if it's a nuclear genome already have a ura 3 the cell will be killed as well. And we cannot use a tryptophan marker, we cannot use a histidine marker. So the host cell itself, those genes have to be deleted of the host in the world. D621. So just to make it clear, uh, was there one? Oh, it's okay. Oh, okay. So I believe I should also uh, write a summary of this in your notebook and I will check this at the end of the class of your participation group. You should write a summary diagram of plasmid. Uh, what's a strand? Those are the East uh, strands. Uh, East strand. That's our media. This is our media we are going to use. That's our uh, uh, experimental schedule, uh, procedure, and that's the plasmid we can use. So you should write those in your uh, lab report. Oh, in your lab site. But of course, on your lab report, your on your Google Doc, those information should also be there. That's really the key for the whole project. How much? Uh, so what? 
they start from uh, so they unfortunately somebody brought that to so you so we have to go next to two or three trips to the wedding so uh, Someone is speaking in an unbalanced way. No, no, no. It was, uh, oh. Oh. Spin them down uh, in small appendal tube. Uh, but here we spin on three mil. Oh, five. Five mil. Oh, that's quite a trick. Okay. <laughs> uh, but each time you probably can spin down one point five mil. So three times is about four point five. Uh, yeah. 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 Uh, they can actually, uh, they can spin down in two tubes and four times and twice. Well, let's spin down three times. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. Uh, we have a, have a very good day today. <laughs> yeah. So, what we are going to do is. Uh, Downstairs, spin it, 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 spin There's a mutation frequency, and in fact, you can calculate the mutation frequency and then from OD value estimate how many cells we need. Uh, there 
serial dilution. And then we just perform serial dilution. So you already did the um The what? The absorbers. Okay. The spectrometer. Okay. On our page, it says F1 protocol. So I've given you enough cells to see some of the patients. Are we doing a 100 micro treatment and a How much do you Water. I need gloves. I ain't touching no mutant. You need no cold cancer. What are gloves? I'm going to have to have 